I'm very proud today to announce Clean BC, a plan that will lower greenhouse gas emissions, reduce climate pollution as we move our province and our economy to a low carbon future where there will be more jobs and more opportunity for all British Columbians. And this, uh, this initiative is long in the making. It's one that we've, we've worked on tirelessly in the past 16 months, but it started way before that. I want to pay tribute to Premier Gordon Campbell, who had the courage to implement a carbon price, the first in North America. And I also want to pay tribute to our colleagues in the, uh, the CASA agreement between the Green Party and the NDP that formed the foundation of our government. But it is all of us working together that will solve this problem. It's not about leadership of political movements. It's not about environmental organizations doing their bit to raise awareness. It's about industry. It's about all of us, labor coming together, indigenous people. The diversity that reflects and represents our spectacular province must be resolute and focused if we're going to be successful successful and shifting away from the challenges that are so obvious to us today. We're frankly at risk of losing a lot if we don't stand up and deal with the problem before us. The problem I'm referring to is the issue of climate change. Now, many fixate solely on the problem itself, but what you're seeing unveiled today is a recognition that with every challenge comes an opportunity. Every challenge is an opportunity and British Columbia is rising to meet the opportunity that's brought to it by the challenge of reducing greenhouse gas emissions. This is about sending a signal to the broad market in British Columbia, to the international community, that BC is going to rise to the challenge. We welcome business here in BC, but that business will be clean business. I believe it's urgent, and I believe that people need to feel hope, not fear. And that's what we hope to bring today. We're seeing and living the effects of climate change, whether it's extreme weather, whether it's droughts, whether it's the two worst wildfire seasons in BC history, back to back. These are all threats to our security, to our economy, and to our health. The plan we're releasing today is a detailed path to meet the targets that we legislated last spring. Instead of turning away from the climate challenge, we're embracing it and we're taking real action. 